Hi, welcome back to the Recap Room. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a war action movie based on real events titled Defiance. Sit tight, because there are some major spoilers ahead. The movie begins with a clip from the era Hitler started the war in 1941. The Germans have reached Russia and are committing rounding about Jews. Since the start of the war, within a few weeks, 50,000 civilians have been killed. Anyone who dares to stand up against the Nazis is ruthlessly killed as well. In the present day, the local police and the Nazi soldiers are sending Jews to concentration camps. Children are separated from their mothers and cry out for help. Azael and Sus Bielski watch from behind the trees as their friends and family are either killed or sent to the concentration camps. They helplessly watch a group of men being escorted away with shovels by the Nazis. Asael tries to talk and stop them from being taken away by the prisoners of war, but Zeus quickly puts his hand on Asael's mouth to stop him from talking. He tells Asael that if they come out of hiding and reveal their position, they will be taken away like the rest of their friends as well. The two then decide to go back to their farm to check upon their family. When they reach there, they come across multiple bodies littered across the farmland and discover that their father has been murdered along with their family dog. Zeus grabs an axe in case they come across any Nazi soldiers. The two brothers quietly enter their house, which seems empty. They look around for a little longer and discover a loose floorboard. Zeus leaves it to reveal a young boy hidden underneath them. The boy has a knife in his hand and is shaking from the fear of being discovered. As he comes into view, they realize that it's their little brother, Aaron. Zeus tells him that it is safe to come out. They pull Aaron out and they gather supplies before heading towards the Lipishanska forest. There, Asael starts crying, overwhelmed with losing their parents and the devastation caused by the war. Zeus tells him to stop crying and then goes to hug his brother to calm him down. Later that night, the brothers fall asleep in the forest. The next morning, Asael is woken up by a twig snapping. He jumps up and sees that it is their older brother, Tuvia. Tuvia tells him that if he was a German, they would have been killed instantly. The brothers then hug each other, relieved to see each other alive. The older siblings start planning and discussing their strategy when Aaron sneaks off. He sees a girl running across the forest and follows her. He catches up to her just as she meets up with her family and discovers a mass grave there. After a while, he goes back to his brothers along with a few other Jews. One of the Jews brings his daughters forward, covered in a blanket. He asks the brothers for help as she is sick and dying. Tuvia helps the man lay his daughter down near the fire. Zeus has some reservations, and he talks to his brother and asks him how they are going to feed all the Jews. Tuvia suggests that they go talk to their neighbor, Constantine. The two catch up while Constantine's wife makes food. Constantine then hands Tuvia a pistol along with four bullets. Just then, they hear a car engine in the distance, and Tuvia immediately leaves through their back door and enters the barn. There, he notices that several Jews are hiding as well. They peek from the barn and see three Nazi soldiers get out of the car, and Constantine greets them. They talk for a while, and then the soldiers leave. Tuvia comes out of hiding and thanks Constantine for risking his life for them. He arrives back at the camp that they had set up for the surviving Jews, and soon, it starts to rain heavily. As everyone takes shelter, he goes to the Nazi soldier who was responsible for killing his parents and shoot him and his two sons dead. He then goes back to camp and tells Zeus about killing the soldier. The next day... More Jews arrive at the camp, and Tuvia welcomes them in. However, Zeus is skeptical and asks him how they are going to keep everyone safe and provide them with food and shelter. But Tuvia is not worried and tells him that they will figure something out. Over the next few days, they build camps using leaves and three barks. One day, Zeus was working with some of the other Jews when two men show up with guns and demanded that Zeus and Tuvia give them food or they will shoot. Zeus challenged him to shoot, but when the men find that everyone at the camp is Jew, they lower their guns and reveal that they have been roaming around the forest for a while and have not had any food in two days. When Zeus finds that they are from the same city as his wife, he asks them if they know Sonia Bielski and her whereabouts. The men inform him that his wife was killed by the Nazis. This causes Zeus to have a mental breakdown, and he cries, wondering why all of their loved ones were killed except for them. Tuvia tries to calm his brother down, However, Zeus is too angry to listen. He asks a few of the other Jews to join him and they head out to kill Nazi apologists. They manage to kill a few of them and then steal their supplies to take back to the camp. 
While looting their bodies, they suddenly see headlights heading their way. Everyone runs out of sight, but the Nazi soldiers start shooting, and some of them get hurt. While helping some of the injured members, the German comes closer. Tubi and Suze manage to hide. However, Asael runs in the opposite direction while the soldiers pursue him. The next morning, when Tuvia and Suze return empty-handed to the camp, the panicked Jews ask each other how they will survive. This causes everyone to start arguing with each other. Tuvia shouts at them and tells them that they have to kill the enemies and steal food from them if they want to survive. He tells them that they will only steal from people who can afford to recover from the loss. Their camp then becomes the refugee point for all the partisans. Soon, Suze and Tuvia go in search for food killed for being a traitor by siding with the Jews and providing them with protection. They bury him, and then his wife leads them to a latch door. She opens it to reveal Asael and a few other Jews hiding there, and they take everyone back to the camp. One day, Aaron and his friend are on patrol, and they notice a few Nazi soldiers heading their way. They run back to the camp and warn everyone. This creates chaos, and Tuvia orders everyone to head deeper into the forest, and ask the men to grab their guns. They pick up their belongings across a river to go deeper. Soon, a shootout ensues and the partisans manage to escape when Tuvia tells the Germans that they don't know the forest as well as they do and that they will be at disadvantage once it gets dark. The soldiers then retreat and the partisans keep walking for hours to set up camp elsewhere. When the partisans stop to rest, Tuvia and Suze get up to scout the area. As they are scouting, they are suddenly surrounded by armed men. They ask him who he is, and he tells him that they belong to the Bielski partisan group. These men then ask the brothers to follow them. With no other choice, they follow the men and are introduced to Viktor Pachinko, who is leading a resistance group. Over the next few days, the partisans set up a new campsite, and Tuvia welcomes more Jews into their group. This anger sues, and the two brothers begin to fight until Asael stops them from killing each other. Suze angrily leaves with some of the men from the camp to join Victor Pachinko's resistance group. Tuvia then makes his way to the ghetto, where he meets up with a few Jews and tells them to escape from the ghetto to the camp with them. One of the elders there tells Tuvia that there is no guarantee that they will be safer at the camp, and if the Germans find that they have escaped, they will kill multiple people for their small group. Tuvia tells him that the Germans will eventually kill everyone, and there is no guarantee that they will be alive at the end of the year. This convinces some of the people to leave with Tuvia and join the partisans. Back at the camp, everyone gives up their valuables so that they can be exchanged for necessities, and each one of them is asked what skills they have so that they can be utilized in the camp. Tuvia then tells them how the partisan group will work and that their main job is to assist the Soviet army. He also tells them that pregnancies are strictly not allowed and they cannot cater to the needs of a newborn. The next morning, Susie is taught by the resistant men how to place a mine under the train tracks. At the camp, Asael proposes to Chaya, and the two wed in an intimate ceremony, and all of the partisans celebrate along with them. The winter that year is brutal, and people fall ill. The situation gets worse when Asael informs Tuvia that they are slowly running out of food. Tuvia kills his horse when he sees the panic created by starvation. A few days later, a woman named Lilka is sent to hunt for food, and Tuvia gives her his coat before she goes out. She encounters a wolf and kills it. Tuvia then goes to the resistance group's camps and asks them for medication, but is refused. He sees Suze there, and that night, Tuvia along with Suze goes to a Nazi hospital to get medication. Suze notices that Tuvia is sick and offers to go to the hospital. He along with two other members go into the hospital and shoot everyone dead and steal all of the medication. However, on their way back, Suze gets shot. Meanwhile, at the camp, the food shortages get worse, and a rebellious member of the partisans Arkady attacks Chaya after she gives him a limited amount of food. This angers Asael, and he pushes Arkady back and tells him to get in line like everyone else. Their fight gets worse, but Tuvia stops them despite not feeling well. The next day, Tuvia notices that Arkady and his group have a larger portion of food than the others, and Asael has been beaten up. He confronts Arkady, who tells him that because he won the fight with Asael, he deserves more food. Tuvia shoots Arkady dead and asks if anyone else will create issues like him. A few days later, Tuvia wakes up to find Lilka taking care of him. She tells him that he had gotten severely ill, but he's not recovering. As spring approaches, 
all the women splash around in the river, enjoying the cold water. Lilka discovers that one of the partisan girls was raped in the ghetto by a Nazi and is now pregnant. When she gives birth, Tuvia gets angry at them for violating the policy, but Lilka explains the girl's situation to him. A few weeks later, Sus and Tuvia notice enemy planes in the air and they ask everyone to pack up and evacuate. Then, the planes start dropping bombs and killing people in large numbers. Some of them remain back to fight and after a few days reach a lake. They make a rope using belts and clothing and cross the lake. However, on the other side, German troops wait for them and the partisans are attacked. Everyone hides in the trees and shoots at the Nazis. As Tuvia manages to kill some of the Germans, a tank aims at him, but Sus and some of the resistance soldiers come just in time to defend the partisans. Having defeated the infantry, the partisans then make their way toward another forest and spend the next few years hidden away from the German soldiers. And that was it for the recap guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our uploads.